Yes, we should always work on the potential target. So when the sales conversion is done, company is not done. As Mr. Lingaradi and Mr. Rawat said, it is not done. We have to build the trust now. Now is the time to build the trust because he has already trusted us by buying a particular product. Now the post-sales. Post-sales is always a very important activity to retain a customer. You have already acquired a customer. And here, most of the agri companies, most of the companies in rural areas fail. Every time they go into the market and find new customers. Every time. Because farmer also forgot which spray I have done. <laughs> Every time he forgets. So in order to build up a customer retention, you have to move into the market, connect with him regularly. How? First is you have got the database because of the technology. So you can reconnect him. Just after the sales, you can thank him. Thanking him makes a difference to the farmer. It may not make a difference to you, but it makes a difference to the farmer. And continued connection has to be done ki how your product has performed. Even you can have a survey. And that survey can be used. If a farmer is happy with you, he will, free of cost, help you in advertising your product. He will say, write my name, put my photo, give my number, I'll tell everybody that yes, this product has worked. This is the kind of person he is. And you have to give a resale scheme for the another product. That is what you people can do. A resale scheme. Like this product is connected with another product. You can introduce another product. New product can be introduced to the same customer. Yes, this product has worked well of a particular company. This is my company, which is this product. You know, I gave you this product. It's worked well. This is another product which has come. Please try it. You have got 10 acres. Try it in 2 acres. Or you, you can try it for a, once. He will try it. He can go for a trial. Only thing is how your product works is the second part. If it works well and you give a good service, then again it will work. Then customer base improvement. And secondly, you can use technology here also. Not only database, you can use him to uh, move into the social networking. Social marketing, sorry. Social sites like Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, you know, especially on Facebook and WhatsApp, he has been using. Many companies are using WhatsApp groups and all that too in order to connect with the customers. That can be used professionally as well. We have been using, even the webcasting can be done for the events, which uh, companies are not uh, using much because there is a problem of webcasting in, uh, uh, sometimes you don't get that uh, much of uh, bandwidth in villages or maybe the places where, but you can do webcasting at the later stage. It may not be live, but you can do the webcasting in different places. You can build up the th that thing and that some companies have started also. So that is there which you can do. And secondly, you can have a customer base improvement with the help of a post sales. You can acquire more customers with the help of that particular customers who have uh, who, who is happy with you. You can get a lot of references because if a particular person is a farmer or rural base, he's having a relatives, friends in different villages. So you can improve your customer base. You can get referrals, five, seven referrals from the same farmer or maybe a same customer. And this, you know, banking sector has been doing it a number of times. But this particular thing will certainly work. And you can do a different kinds of surveys with the help of this technology. So on the whole, what we have been working and discussing about this particular uh, synergy and system is, which I have been discussing, this is a very conventional method, but if you connect it with the technology, then certainly the improvement in your sales are going to increase in many folds. But you cannot leave conventions. You cannot leave conventions. Conventions have to be connected with the technology. And when you're connecting technology with the conventions, I know many field staffs who sometimes call the call center executive and say, Ki main particular farmer ko milne ja rahun, please call kar dije. The call center, so he gets the call and then he meets the farmer and the farmer says, oh, I got your call from call center. <laughs> he feels honored that you have called. And I would like to tell you one more thing. None of the farmers, if you are talking to a farmer and telling him we want to talk to you regarding agriculture, he will talk to you. 
he may not talk to you about insurance or something. If you talk about agri insurance, suddenly he will talk to you. <laughs> so don't think that he will cut the phone, he will not listen to you. Once you talk about agriculture, he will start talking to you. And he will not stop, he will listen to you completely. This is our experience from the last five, seven years which we have been doing. And acquisition and retention rates increase many folds when we merge technology with conventional methods rather than using only conventional or only technology. Only technology you cannot reach because technology doesn't have a human touch. That is the basic problem with the rural sector. You need a human touch in order to connect with the people. So now is the need for the village to transform into an economic center where new technologies and products be introduced using technology and conven conventions. Both has to be connected. Values, cultures have to be connected with your business. And as he rightly said, we are a local people. We are not, we are not national or something like that. We work locally, purely local level. We always work local level, a single point of our place. Uh, cater to around five to six hundred kilometers only, like three hundred to four hundred kilometers of radius, not not more than that. Because culture, ethic, ethics, values, everything changes with the uh, distances. So you need, so we always work at the local level. This is what is our. Right? So now, let's reach our villages. We have been talking about tier two, tier three, tier four towns. No, these towns are basically made out of villages only. Let's reach our villages. Let's reach Bharat. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Sabjeet. Uh, you have given a very interesting insight in how a conventional and wisdom and technology can be judiciously mixed to reach to the rural India. Uh, 